everyone. Welcome to an academy. This is Deepak Krishna BM MD Structural Engineering AMI. I'm a verified educator. So the series, the factors affecting the workability continues. So in today's lesson, we are going to see how the factor called aggregates affects the workability of concrete. But before that, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. As well as you can follow us through the official app and the website of the Academy. So, hello everyone. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. So we are yet again back with another uh, another lesson and the factors affecting the workability of the concrete course. So in the, uh, in the previous le lessons, we have seen how the other factors like the cement conductor, the water conductor, the mixed proportions and the water cement ratio affects the uh, workability of the concrete. So similarly, in today's lesson also, we are going to see another factor called aggregates, uh, how, the, how the aggregates affects the workability of concrete. Okay, so let's start. Before that, we'll have a small look at the uh, definition of the workability. So we have two definitions right here. First one, the property determining the effort required to manipulate a freshly mixed quantity of concrete with minimum loss of homogeneity, defined by ASTM C12593. And also another definition, which is a more familiar definition, that is from ACI 116R90. Uh, it states that the it is a property of freshly mixed concrete which determines the ease and the homogeneity with which it can be mixed, placed, consolidated and finished. Okay, I hope you understand the definition it is. So, according to IS 456-2000, that is the page 17 of IS 456-2000, there is another statement. It states that the concrete mixed proportion should be chosen such that the concrete is of adequate workability for placing conditions of the concrete and can be properly be compacted by the means available. This uh, shows that how workability is, is important to a freshly concrete, freshly mixed concrete or the concrete in its plastic state. That is one has to choose the ingredients as well as the mixed proportions in accordance to the workability as well as the methods available. Okay, so let's move on to today's lesson. That is the factors affecting the effect of aggregates in the workability of concrete. All right. Today's lesson will uh, will will see how the aggregates affects the workability of concrete. Okay. So there are different aspects of aggregates like shape, size, texture, grading. So all the, how let's see how all these aspects of the aggregate affects the workability of the concrete. All right. So let's start. So first and foremost, let's start with the size of the aggregate. All right, the aggregate size. Size. What is the size of the uh, of an object? A size means uh, something which has a big shape. Okay, which has significant shape or significant shape in which that material is existed. So surface. So size depends upon the uh, size of something as a significant factor of its physical nature. All right. So size, it, ha it, it occupies an area. So the surface area will have a direct contact with the size. Okay. So, so, so that's the first sentence we have right here. The surface area depends upon the size of the aggregate. All right. So as the surface area increases, okay, the size also the size decreases. Okay. That is, a, it is inversely, inversely in proportional proportion. Okay. How it, so you'll be confused. How it is that? I'll tell you. So please understand that the aggregate is not considered as individual particles. It is considered as a whole. Okay. So, so if you're looking at it, if the size of the aggregate is more, okay, individually, so therefore there'll be more number of voids in it. All right. That means the, there'll be more number of interstitial spaces in it. Okay. Which results in the decreasing amount of area comparing with the uh, so aggregates, which, ha which is smaller in size. So the packing will be more. So the voids will be less. All right, so this result in the more surface area. All right, so as the surface area increases, the cement demands increases. All right, so this will result in that is the lower surface area aggregates will result in the using up of the cement for a uh, for a, a huge amount of cement will be used up. Okay, so there won't be much paste left for the lubricating effect and also for making the particles slip down each other. All right, whereas in the larger surface, the larger size aggregates. Will will need only a less amount of cement and water for wetting as well as uh, uh, water for wetting and the cement, which will result in low amount of quantities of paste required for the lubricating effect. Okay, so we have more amount of extra amount of paste with us. Okay, so there is an extra amount of paste available for us, and this paste will result in the uh, fluidity or which result in the more easier moment of the 
ingredient particles of the cement okay so that is bigger the particles higher the workability okay to a certain extent only all right so that's a, that's that's in the second sentence right here bigger size less amount of water is required for wetting and less paste is required for the lubricating of the entire uh, aggregates and hence more pa extra paste will be there available for us for the for the lubricating as well as for the workability purposes all right hence the bigger size will provide more workability within the limits okay you have to consider that within limits that means um, all these points are valuable for common concrete all right but if you go for more uh, advanced concrete like special concrete types like high performance concrete high strength concrete all those stuff will have admixtures added in it okay so there if the water cement ratio is less and also if the size of the aggregate is less also the workability will be more because of the action of admixtures all right so please understand this difference okay now let's move on to the texture of texture aspect of the aggregate okay the texture aspect okay again here surface area plays a key role in the influence of the texture all right so if the texture is too much rugged okay that means too much rough again the surface area increases there all right that means if the texture is smooth the surface area, there will be a uh, particular surface area but if the texture is rough there will be a lot of uh, depressions and there will be a lot of imperfections so these imperfections and depressions will Im increase the surface area all right so this increase surface area will uh, improve the i mean will, will increase the internal frictional resistance comparing with the smooth surface okay so this result in the lower workability okay that means the frictional force will be more in the rough surfaces or right, compared to the smooth surface okay so hence hence why it of offers more workability that is a smooth surface offers more workability than the rough surfaces this is one of the prime reason why the natural sand is one of the best aggregates available in the entire planet okay now let's move on to the next next aspect that is the shape of the aggregate all right like size uh, this aspect called shape to affects the aggregate in a very high extent all right so that also that means that it affects the workability in a very good extent okay so some of the irregular shapes like angular elongated flaky flaky shapes make the concrete harsh compared to the cubical or rounded shape why because th this this make um, creates a lot of locking effects all right that means there will be a lot of harsh concrete and uh, then it will be very difficult for the uh, water and the cement to wet these uh, irregular shapes all right there will be no homogeneity okay so this affects the smooth running of the paste as well as smooth lubrication of the paste as well as smooth, smooth uh, zigzag movement or the uh, fluid movement of the ingredients in the uh, in the concrete matrix all right so hence the angular and uh, those distorted shape cannot be should be uh, cannot be there in the uh, aggregates used so the aggregate should be either in the cubical or rounded shape for the better workability purposes all right so in the modern day the more emphasis we have on the uh, sustainable development okay that means we have to conserve the depleting uh, deple depleting resources and we have to look for the more more new new types of resources hence which will result in a development that will be sustainable that means we will not affect the mother earth as well as we will help will help the sustenance of the human life okay so in such approach approach of the modern day uh, the we have to conserve lot of resources especially the river water and the river sand okay so for the conservation of sand and other materials the shape has shape of the aggregate has a greater influence okay even though we are using the admixtures uh, we uh, by you, by looking for the new new methods the shape will be some of the premium methods can be used for improving the workability of the concrete because it's very easy because today's crushers are, can be programmed for the requirement and also it can it in, so it can crush the aggregates in accordance to our need uh, in the in the size and the shape of our need okay so so hence shape has a greater influence in our days okay now the last but not the least the uh, the factor we are going to or the aspect we are going to discuss is the grading okay grading of the aggregates okay or the grading of the concrete so what is grading grading of aggregates so in simple english or simple plain language we can say that grading is a separation of the aggregates based on any of the aspect that is maybe the shape maybe the size whatever it is okay especially it will be based on the size okay so better grading results result in the less voids okay so hence there will be excess paste available for the better lubricating effect 
okay because it's not uh, it's diff it's quite different from the sh uh, size factor okay that means there will be the surface area condition of the size factor because in gradient condition there are all sorts of uh, sizes available okay not a single type of size okay so this will result in a more packing effect and also the voids will be less and also th this result in a excess paste okay available for the lubricating effect so excess paste will result in the more slippery movement and more flowable movement of the ingredients in the concrete matrix all right so because of this a low water cement ratio is sufficient for properly uh, a properly graded aggregate all right the aggregate itself will have uh, effect a lot on the workability conditions so hence we need only a very low amount of water cement ratio for the properly graded aggregates which are placed inside a concrete or and um, pardon me for the concrete which has the properly graded aggregates all right that means less water and more cement that's it okay so that's all for today thank you for tuning in and please come into suggestions please wait my presentation please recommend and share the slides and this is my id for, for the profile in the i mean this is my link for the profile in the uh, my youth an academy platform you can see the works that i've done based on the ingredients that means the of course aggregate fine aggregate and cement all the basic tests are explained over there you can also see other works done by me based on the fresh concrete also so once again thank you for tuning in i wish you a great day see you in the next lesson ciao